freedom from the Exodus to the Hunger Games. Pesach, Passover, is a remarkable holiday. It begins with Seder, which allows us to experience both slavery and freedom, as we tell a story that is at once ancient and modern, with a storyline that even speaks of an imaginary future. I just keep wishing that I could think of a way to show them that they don't own me. We will tell the ageless story of the human struggle to be free, a struggle for freedom that begins with the biblical story of the Israelites' journey from slavery in Egypt to the Promised Land. We eat special foods that symbolize Passover's many messages and immerse ourselves in the traditions of Pesach, first celebrated more than 3,000 years ago. A wonderful meal with family and friends, discussions of contemporary issues, fun, the singing of songs. Seder night is a night of memories to be shared, memories to be made, and it all begins with Once Upon a Time. They never told you? Who never told me what? You're our brother. I know who you are, and you are not a prince of Egypt! What did you say? Please, Moses, you must believe! That's enough! You were born of my mother, Yohebed! Stop you are it. our brother! Our mother sent you adrift in a basket to save your life! Save my life? From who? Ask the man that you call father! Nevertheless, Seder is more than the telling of the ancient, compelling story of our people's quest for freedom. Rather, we are asked to actually experience the bitterness of oppression and the sweetness of freedom, so that we may better understand the hope and courage of all men and women, of all generations, in their quest for liberty, security, and human rights. The magic of Seder night transforms the story of the exodus from Egypt into a time for creative reflection on the freedoms we seek in our own personal life. In the Bible, in the story of the Exodus from Egypt, the Hebrew word for Egypt, Mitzrayim, is rooted in the word Mitzar, meaning boundaries, limits, restrictions. Egypt represents constraints and confinements, psychological, emotional, and spiritual. Anything from within or from without that inhibits our free expression is a form of Mitzrayim. Exodus is a most important element in life, the ability to free ourselves from our confines and get out of the rut. What better time to reaffirm God's promise to Abraham that we will be freed from Mitzrayim? 
This promise was true for the first exodus from Egypt and is true today. For in each generation, one must consider himself as if he just left Mitzrayim. So it is that on Seder night, the biblical story symbolizes the timelessness of the personal challenges to the freedoms that we face. As we saw in The Hunger Games, we find a government that is trying to keep a large population, one that greatly outnumbers the government, under control. Pitting one group against the other by manufacturing horrific annual wars making them fight one another so that they don't fight the government. Pharaoh had a similar concern. He said, the Jews greatly outnumber us. Let's make them build stuff for us, keep their families separated, and pit them against each other. When you're a slave, life is only about self-preservation. The Egyptians forced Jews to be taskmasters over other Jews, keeping them at odds with each other rather than turning them against the real enemy, Egypt. And phase two of Pharaoh's plan was to sacrifice children, but one child escaped, and that was Moses. Throughout the story of the Exodus, freedom begins with taking responsibility for family. It was when Moses faced up to the truth of who his true family is, and accepted responsibility for their survival, that the Seder story began. In the end, the exodus took place only when the Jews as a people were willing to personally accept such responsibility and own up to who they were as a family. As slaves, they were only individuals, each struggling alone for survival. But in order to survive the wilderness of life, such slave mentality wouldn't work. Over and over again, the scholars of the biblical story point out that the exodus began the night before the Hebrew people left Egypt, when the Jews sat down as families for the meal that was to become Seder night. That acceptance of responsibility is what made freedom possible then and today. We may be strong, but we are never stronger than when we're working together. Everyone has something to bring to the table. You just have to sit down at the table and find out what it is. That is also what Hunger Games comes to tell us through the actions of the girl named Katniss. It is Katniss, as it was Moses in the Exodus, who realizes, in order to survive in a game where the game makers keep changing the rules, and the terrain, and the weather conditions, to force the people to fight to their death. She is much stronger when the goal is not just survival, but rather relationship. Connection to another human being is where humanity is found in an otherwise inhuman world. For Katniss, this occurs when she places her life at risk to save the life of her younger sister, and ultimately with her commitment to assure not merely her own survival, but the survival of another. The ingredient that makes Seder night unique among Jewish observances first mentioned in the Agata and brought to living color in the Hunger Games, is our connection, our relationship that we have with others, our way of finding relationships that we learned through family. And it is our commitment to the survival of the family that we find the secret to the magic of Seder night. More than any other holiday in the Jewish calendar, Seder night is the one celebrated everywhere. No matter where you travel in the Jewish world, it is hard to find a single Jewish household not celebrating Seder night. Even in the days of the Soviet oppression, the Jews of Russia found a way to eat at least a symbolic piece of matzah. And in the darkest days of the Holocaust, this night of freedom is Maybe, maybe somebody is left. They didn't want to do it, or somehow they couldn't get in touch with anybody. Perhaps the reason for Seder night's singular importance has to do with where Seder is held, at home with family. When all is said and done, family is the beginning of a Jewish commitment, and in the end it is family to which we turn for the memories that form our spiritual commitment. Seder night holds a precious place in Jewish lives, from memories that form the bedrock of a Jewish commitment 
to the legacy we leave for our children and generations to come. Therefore, at our Seder this year, let's celebrate family memories. Let's set a chair at the head of the table, a place of honor we reserve for all those special people who once sat at our Seder table and who in memory we recall. Throughout Seder night, let's, as they come to mind, tell of those moments when we laughed, sang, and shared in Seder's past with some very special people. Now it's your turn to remember, and not only remember, but ensure the continuity of our loved one's legacy by filling their place at the Seder table.